their position on the uh, film incentive? Well, right now with the film incentives, where we're at is 42 percent uh, is uh, given back to the uh, film manufacturers. And because of that incentive, we've had a lot of studios come in and build uh, new sound stages. Raleigh Studio is one. They have between an $85 million and $90 million investment. We can't go back and start changing uh, the rules in the, middle of the, in the middle of the road. You know the old adage about don't change horses in the middle of the stream sort of thing. I think what's going to happen, there'll be some adjustments to the amount. But I, at the end of the day, I think we're going to be able to arrange it where there will still be film credits available. But now with the governor's plan, I believe he had a cap of $25 million. So are you supporting of that or not supporting it? No, I think the $25 million is way low. That, that wouldn't even cover one picture. We had uh, the, the uh, Avengers uh, movie move down, uh, I believe, to Mississippi. We've had other movies leave the area. Disney's wanting to come in to do some filming, and I, those need to be encouraged. We have 300 skilled trade jobs right now working at a, at a variety of different studios, and these people have been out of work for a long time. This has been their first glimmer of hope of getting back to work. So, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the governor's plan. This was something to get people thinking, to get, to get uh, some action taken. So by the time the House gets done with it, the Senate gets done with it, and we negotiate with the governor, it'll come out completely different than what, than what he had proposed.